What we've done as a human species is to basically coat the world in antibiotics by our overuse and inappropriate use. So we've selected for these resistance mechanisms um, in the bacteria, which is why we're seeing the problem that we're seeing now. So there was a previous study which showed that um, there was a lot of faecal bacteria present in some of the beards analysed and the press caught this and they said, I think they ran with the headline, there's more poo in beards than there is in a toilet. Um, we wanted to either disprove or prove that that was actually correct and we could find no evidence of that. So we have no real conclusion to say that beards are bad for you. Likewise, we can't really say that they're good for you. All of the individual isolates um, that we got from the beards, we put into one of my other projects looking for new antibiotics. So basically what we do, we grid out the individual bacteria on a, an agar plate, which has been pre-inoculated with an indicator strain. And then we see if that indicator strain can grow right up to the individual colonies from the beards or from anywhere else that we've got these bacteria from. And we found, quite surprisingly, that the beard isolates were quite capable of killing the indicator strain that we had, showing that they actually produce antibiotics themselves. So from 20 beards, we managed to isolate at least 100 different isolates from them and around 25% of these showed antibiotic activity against our indicator strain. So we don't need any more beards, um, and we've got other samples from all over the country um, from child's trampolines to fridges to cats. Um, we've now got a selection of around 50 different bacteria which can kill multiple indicator strains. These include E. coli, a multidrug resistant E. coli from a urinary tract infection. These include also Candida albicans and MRSA. So we're concentrating our efforts in the lab now on finding out exactly what these bacteria are producing because there's just a small possibility that it might be a novel antibiotic.